हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर ए क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर हैज एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर हेनरी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट फाइव पिको फेरेड एंड सी एम इज इक्वल टू वन पिको फेरेड विथ आर इज इक्वल टू फाइव किलो ओम हेयर वी नीड टू फाइंड द सीरीज रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी देन पैरल रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई बाई वाट परसेंटेज डज दी पैरल रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी एक्सीड्स the series resonant frequency and we need to find the q factor first let us find the series resonant frequency that can be given as fs is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l into c so if we substitute the value of l and c we will get 1 divided by 2 pi square root of 0.4 into 0.085 pico farad from this we can say series resonant frequency is equal to 863.138 kilo hertz next let us find the parallel resonant frequency that can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l into c equivalence here c equivalence can be given as C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Since they have given C and Cm here, so we can write the formula as C into Cm divided by C plus Cm. So if we substitute the values, it will be 0.085 picofarad multiplied with 1 picofarad divided by 0.085 picofarad plus 1 picofarad. So we will get c equivalence is equal to 0.0783 pico farad if we substitute the value of c equivalence in this formula we will get the parallel resonant frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l is nothing but 0.4 henry multiplied with c equivalence is 0.0783 pico farad so if we solve this we will get the parallel resonant frequency is equal to 899.074 kilo hertz next we need to find the percentage increase in parallel resonant frequency with respect to series resonant frequency so we can write percentage increase will be equal to parallel resonant frequency minus series resonant frequency divided by series resonant frequency into 100 so it will be 899.074 kilohertz minus 863.138 kilohertz divided by 863.138 kilo multiplied with 100 so percentage increase will be equal to 4.163% now let us find the q factor q factor will be equal to omega s multiplied by l divided by r so if we substitute the values omega s which is angular frequency can be given as 2 pi fs into l divided by r so it will be 2 pi multiplied with 863.138 kilo multiplied with 0.4 whole divided by the resistance value is 5 kilo so the q factor will be equal to 433.86 now let us consider the second problem a crystal has mounting capacitance of 10 picofarad the inductance equivalent of mass is 1 millihenry the fractional resistance is 1 kilo ohm compliance is 1 picofarad find the series and parallel resonant frequency so in this problem they have given 
the mounting capacitance which is nothing but cm is equal to 10 picofarad the inductor value l is equal to 1 milli henry and the resistance value is 1 kilo ohm here compliance is 1 picofarad which is nothing but c is equal to 1 picofarad now let us find the series resonant frequency that is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of l into c let us substitute the value so it will be 1 divided by 2 pi square root of the value of l is 1 milli henry multiplied with the value of c is 1 picofarad so if we solve this we will get the series resonant frequency as 5.033 megahertz now let us find the parallel resonant frequency that can be given as 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L into C equivalence. So we need to find the value of C equivalence that will be equal to C into Cm divided by C plus Cm. So we can substitute the value. So it will be 1 picofarad multiplied with 10 picofarad divided by 1 picofarad plus 10 picofarad. So C equivalence is equal to 9.0909 into 10 to the power of minus 13 farad. So this is C equivalence value. Let us substitute this in parallel resonant frequency formula. So we will get Fp is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of the value of L is 1 milli multiplied with 9.0909 into 10 to the power of minus 13. So, if we solve this, we will get the parallel resonant frequency as 5.2785 megahertz. So, this is the value of parallel resonant frequency. This is about problems on crystal oscillator. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.